in three, two, one, and welcome back. I did welcome back as opposed to we are live, but anyway, I like I'm just commenting. And then, and then you mentioned it, and then I mentioned it. Yeah. So it, it's called breaking the fourth wall, AJ. Just letting you know. But you were looking at me, you moron. What we in the biz? <laughs> <laughs> what we in the biz call breaking the fourth wall? Uh, welcome back. I am Ryan. This is AJ. We are Dad Fiction. Uh, this is Ask a Dad. Uh, present brought to you by Dad Fiction in. Uh, we're in combination with Daddy's Digest. Uh, Daddy'sDigest.com. Go there and ask your questions, and AJ and I will... Anonymously. Anonymously, and AJ and I will give us give you our thoughts on him or what not to do. Most likely with AJ, yeah. it's going to be what not to do. So you can get that side of the coin and then uh, just learn from whatever I did because most likely my wife it did wrong. it correctly. Yeah, I was like, Ryan well, didn't do it right. Yeah, my wife did it right, and I just kind of followed suit. So uh, the reason we have this segment, uh, this segment, Ask a Dad, is most of the time... We as parents, we don't know what we're doing, and we're just kind of finding our way through it. And every once in a while, every so often, we get to the point where we can't figure it out, and we need to ask for help. We need some guidance, but maybe we're just a little hesitant to ask our friends and family because we don't want to look like we don't know what we're doing. Or we're just really lazy and don't want to Google the very simple answers. All right. So in this uh, in this case, the question is, how do you change a diaper? Okay. Uh, now... Typically, I had to take a class uh, before on changing I, diapers. I t- well, I took a a, a class, uh, a parenting class at from Kaiser, the hospital, and it was like first aid or um, not first aid, but CPR. Oh wow! It was like child CPR and wrapping the kid too tight and like the main things to keep the kid alive for the first like Dude, that's crazy seventy two hours after that's you wild. get them. Uh, after you get them and bring them home and they're yours and you have to keep them alive. So I took a class and I figured out how to change the diaper. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, put, put the, put the baby doll down. You practice once or twice. You've got it. Okay. My experience was different. Oh, was it? I was 20 and I didn't know that I had a kid, but my girlfriend at the time had a baby uh-huh. and she slept a lot. <laughs> so I had to change a lot of diapers and my experience was as far as this makes sense. Like, eh. like I, I, I held the diaper up and I was like, eh, I got fucking some yeah. Velcro and it, it, it's elastic in the back. Yeah. That's probably where the poop goes. Yeah, I was like, well, I mean, there's, there's, there's like, I see there's a big bird on the front. All right, uh, this diaper I'm taking off looks this way. Like, all right, someone put a diaper on him first. And okay, um, well, this smells like shit. Okay, um, uh, it was a boy. It's a blue I line, learned, in the, yellow line in the front. I learned very quickly if you're going to change a boy's diaper. Yep. Uh, you got to leave either a wipe or the diaper itself, the dirty one, over his penis, or he will pee into your face and or yep. chest. Like, for if you didn't know that, now you know, because you're going to get peed on a lot. Yep. Because the excitement of getting his diaper changed equals more pee, which you'd be like, oh, he just peed. Doesn't matter. Yep. Take your thoughts of pee and poo and throw them out the friggin' window. Kid's going to pee and poo when it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. All the time. It is yeah. endless, yeah. and it is, uh, it's a fountain, and it's unpredictable So just at times. So uh, be like a Boy Scout and be prepared. Yeah, put the, put the, put the wipe over it. Uh, make sure if it's a, if it's a girl um, that you wipe the Front vagina. Front to back. Wipe the vagina very well because poop goes right all there's up in there. There's lots of little crevices. I'm not trying to be gross or fun. This isn't funny. Like you, you just, there's lots of little areas you want to make sure you're cleaning. You can't really get grossed out anymore. I mean, poop is just poop to me now. It's not even a thing. It's and just, if you have a boy and he's uncircumcised, you got to pull a little skin back and clean the whole area like every single time. Yep, because it like, gets everywhere. You've got to just make sure you're doing all these things. Okay. Um, and then you, you lay him down. Uh, one thing, hold the feet. Because feet can go wild. Yep. If you leave the feet unattended, you're fucked. So grab the feet. Uh, if it's poop, because it's up their back for sure. Yep. Hold. The, you don't want to squeeze their feet. You don't want to like crush them. Like I have giant bear paws for hands. But so. kids are resilient, anyways. Yeah. So you, you grab them gently, but with enough firmness that they don't flip out. And and you wipe. You know, you bring all the poo forward. Like a fish, hang it up, and then no, don't do it like a fish. No. Like <laughs> I was, I was like, yeah, and then I was like, no, I see what no. you're doing. No. Yeah. All right. And so uh, for the most part, the kids. Uh, kids, they can only really move their hands and their feet. All right, when they can't move their torso, when this is when they're like really young, they small. can't move their their stuff. So you don't necessarily need to put your hand. You can you can do use two hands on a on a newborn probably to like three months. But the second they start like wiggling, get, get wiggling, they start wiggling. You absolutely need to have one hand on the baby, like on, and then on change, the core, on the core of the baby, on the tummy. And, or on the the pelvic region, whatever, to keep them stable because they do wiggle. They will but first wiggle. off, first off here. Also, um, don't. I got in. This was this was bad. I got into the habit. Ryan, what happened? 
I got in the habit of like trying to uh, like tickle their feet while they were while I was doing it just to keep them from moving around, right? Like and their Don't feet, do that. their feet would like this was Violet. Her feet would be Don't all over the that. place, and I would like you were three kids in, and I would like fake bite her. I would like fake bite her feet, and she would giggle and laugh. So and you then, opened and your mouth. Fine. So open her mouth, and there was poop on her foot. Yeah, yeah. So. I don't do that. that. I didn't even have to know it was coming. I knew it. Yeah, there's poop on the foot. And it was like, uh, that's, that's. You got poop in your mouth. And, but you had to finish. I had to, fin- I had to let it sit there and I had to finish what I was doing and then throw on the ground. No, you put the kid in the I trash can and you give up at that point. Well, my that's whole it. my whole life was a trash can at that point. But, um, <laughs> so <laughs> that is how you change a diaper. Hopefully it's yeah, quick. Don't, don't put a poopy foot, uh, food, poopy food. A foot in uh, your mouth. But either way, that's how you change a diaper. It's it's very simple. Don't overthink it. May, don't do it too tight. Don't do it too loose. I will right say, middle. if it's a middle of the night diaper change, I, I, every new parent who's like, what do we get that's not on the registry? Uh, wipey warmer. I didn't appreciate this nearly enough when my son was small, but when my daughter was little, I was a veteran. It's 1% problems, dude. Bro. It's like a $20 item. I, maybe I'm completely dis- – it's been 20 years <laughs> since I was, my kids were little. But You're throwing money at everything yeah, at that like, point. You don't, I don't give a shit. I'll <laughs> buy all the warms. I'll, I'll, I'll blow dry this motherfucker. Anyway, a cold wipe on a sleeping baby who shit themselves – Will alarm that child, wake them up, and they will never go back to sleep. If you can, like, you can, you can blow into a wipey all you want, because that's like, you're laughing now. Like, what are you talking about? You'll figure it out. Uh, you want that wipe to be nice and warm in room temperature, because when you wipe a butt at 3 a.m., you don't want a cold wipey that's going to wake your child up alarmingly. You want a nice room temperature wipe that's just cleaning the backside of them. So wipey uh, warmers are invaluable. I, I would, I, I mean, look, if you want to get it and give it a shot, go ahead. Uh, for my the second year, remove the diaper and expose the genitals to room temperature. It was, uh, so, it was you would lose it. It was like clockwork with my first, and it was we never had a wipe warmer. Three kids that made it through, no big deal. But hey, to you figure it, out what it, works. It could for have you. been even better had you listened. Figure it out. But the second gen- you know how many times I got poop in my mouth from a foot? Zero times. How many kids do you have? Two. I didn't. I was over. I was over <laughs> two as well. And then all of a sudden, it took one. So I've also babysat your children, everyone else's children, and changed their diapers. Zero percent poop in the <laughs> at mouth. that point. So that doesn't mean you actually had three kids. It means it, you've watched kids. It doesn't true. mean it doesn't mean anything. So I was. That is. I true. was one for three with, right. with pooping. You're mouth. true. That's right. a hundred percent. Um. Anyways, if you have any, uh, hopefully you got something out of this. Uh, other than <laughs> AJ and Ryan are just stupid people. Don't put shit in your mouth. Don't, Fair enough. Don't put babies' poopy feet in your mouth. It was an accident. All right, and I made it through it, and all my kids are alive. And and knock on wood, they're all three potty trained. Okay, um, that would be a good question. How, potty train your kids. Anyways, if I you don't have, have the if you have, right if, now. If, if you have a question, go to daddiesdigest.com. I am Ryan. This is AJ. We are Dad Fiction. Your question might get on the show, and we'll fumble through it just like we did that one. Um, but uh, well, thank you for watching. And as always, tell your kids that you love them. <laughs>